I'm going to talk to you very briefly about the Netgear GS116 uh, 16 port switch. Uh, basically it's a great switch uh, but after seven years I had a few problems with it and we're going to show you how to get it fixed. So you'll see the switch uh, picture on screen here, you can see 16 ports, um, not a lot more to it, it's unmanaged. Um, what was happening with my switch was uh, some ports, uh, nothing was lighting up on them, there was no connectivity at all. And uh, there was also some auto negotiation issues, just really weird behavior going on. So uh, I tried it with a different switch, all works fine. So clearly it's a problem with this one. It's unmanaged, there's really nothing you can do uh, to fix it software wise. There's nothing to upgrade, nothing, no firmware to change. So. Uh, the first thing I wanted to check was, is there anything going on inside, any hardware issues? Fortunately, it's very easy to open up. Um, just two screws uh, located on the back, one on the left, one on the right. A little Phillips screwdriver will do that. Slide off the cover and you'll see there's uh, some capacitors, these little block, round uh, cylinder blocks. Uh, some on the left, some on the right. Now a common problem uh, with these is they can start to fail and when they do they can bulge. It can be quite hard to tell if that's happening but in my case uh, on the left hand side you'll see there's three capacitors here and the middle one, uh, the one sort of middle right, the very top of it you'll see it started to bulge upwards the, if you look at the one at the top, it's got a flat top on it uh, with the three kind of Mercedes-Benz kind of mark on it. The one in the middle right, you can see it's starting to bulge upwards, starting to round, and that shows that the capacitor is starting to fail. Hard to say whether that's definitely causing it, but it's quite likely. And if you look around the internet, that this capacitor problem uh, can be causing an issue for many people. So. Two options really here. One, replace the capacitor. It's a case of pulling it off, uh, breaking the solder, resoldering a new one on there. But the great thing about these switches is they've got a lifetime hardware warranty on them. So get the cover back on, screw it back in, get, and then go on the internet uh, and speak to Netgear support. Very quickly, just register uh, your product uh, and then that'll give you an instant warranty. Uh, raise a case online and they'll just send you out a new one once you've shipped yours, what your one back. You've got three options in terms of the different ways of sending your one back. I opt opted for the cheapest one. Um, just send yours back via normal post and they'll send you a new one back when they get yours and it costs about three pounds from the Royal Mail. So mine's gone off. Hopefully I'll get mine in about uh, a week and uh, yep, yeah, should be all good as new. Okay, so we're now uh, one week on and I have uh, received from Netgear a nice little package. So let's have a look what we've got. So I don't know if there's going to be a new one or um, refurbished one or what. Mm. Don't know. Let's have a look. Power supply. And we have what looks like a brand new replacement. Yep, power supply, box, everything. I assume it's going to work. So uh, yeah, so that in total, that repair cost me two pound eighty to send mine back and give me a brand new one from Netgear. So I'm not normally a particular fan of Netgear, but yeah, lifetime warranty on that, fantastic. Um, yeah, so let's give it a go. But assume it's all good. So if you've got a faulty Netgear ProSafe uh, switch, they should have a lifetime warranty on them and uh, yeah, send it back, get a new one.